Oi King, you stupid spastic, what on earth are you doing? What the hell did you just say? What is going on guys, my name is Dominic and for you guys today after that totally irrelevant intro, I'm bringing you the amazing Town Hall 10 Mass Golem Attack Strategy. And this one will go into a bit more detail watching three different replays. So nonetheless, starting off here, our number one attack in there, number one is Ashan. Asan. And as you can see, he has got five golems cooked up. I'm assuming one will be in the clan castle here. Two jumps, one rage, two freeze, and a poison spell. And the first jump does go in. It did take a while. Okay, he did put two wall breakers down. I may have missed that. But first golem goes down, followed by a few wall breakers. And then the second one goes down. Wall has been opened, and they are on that first arch tower. The next two group of golems come down. And I'm assuming the last two group of golems. Golems! Unless I'm wrong and I'm an absolute spastic, but it's still a mass golem attack strategy. But nonetheless here, Dragon comes out in that one clan. Oh, there's the last golem. Yeah. And yet, so, how's it looking at the moment? Golems are nicely taking, absorbing the damage. This one on your left side here, the golems are actually getting wrecked at the moment. We've got about three or four golemites there, but that's not too much of a worry. We've got our mass troops in the middle here. Giants, most of the golems. The Rage Spell does go down, or that is the King's ability, I may be wrong. But anyway, the King is on the Town Hall. Luckily, he's got good health and he's not distracted. Oh, Ooh, that, was, that was almost a close call there. But yes, the Queen did not go to the Town Hall. He, she is picking up structures on the outside. But we have got six archers here to clean off a, a building if we get one. And at the moment, 49% almost down. Yes, we do get a 50%. And... He may, we'll just speed up here and we may as well end it off, or yes, we will end it off and save ourselves a few hundred dollars at the elixir. Second attack is from the same player here, Ashan, and he's using four golems this time, but this time he's bringing earthquake spells, and I admire any attacker that uses earthquake spells, it's just so nice to watch the attackers use the spells. So where's he going to start the earthquakes? I want, um, replay is two minutes long. Earthquakes come down here, and that creates a beautiful path straight to the town hall. And for town hall 10 bases, this is a thing now. You're really gonna have to spread out your bases because having a cramped out, cramped up town hall 10 base, which would have worked in those non-earthquake days, that was when you needed. That was when you could use a squashed up bases. But now, when you have a squashed up base for earthquakes, and you've already got a direct route to the town hall with that single wall in its way and the way he does it is brilliant instead of the last golem he's carried a few giants here i know the golem is much more damaged but look at the way they're absorbing every single stream from that wall. oh there's two single and target infernos that's a bummer for him <laughs> bummer i'm an idiot but anyways as you can see where is the main force of attacking he did put golems up on the top i guess that was to get a few percentage points he did put a jump spell at the bottom thinking so I'm not too sure about this attack. I think it didn't go as well off as he wanted to. His queen has been forced, well, hasn't been used, but his king has used a strategy. But the fact that the earthquake has there, the wizard and all the troops and the golems have found a very easy path to the town hall. And yes, 46%, queen's ability is still in hand. And it will be a two star, of course, as you saw it like a minute ago on this on your screen. But 47% and plenty of archers still to get a clean up. There is space, still places like here or here to get a few percentage points. And now only 48%. Here you can easily put a minion. Oh, it's... Oh, oh okay there. That was a bit cheeky. Anyway, nonetheless, you can easily put a wizard. Oh, my commentary is beautiful. Wizard will take that out for 49%. He will come closer, but the can will not reach him. And we can now... One more shot, and he clutches the 50%. And once again, five archers not in use, so... Sorry for that scream right there. And yes, that was a nice attack for there. And now on the last one we're having today is from Jan at the moment. And again, four earthquakes, seven golems. This is a mixture of the first and second attack strategy. Bang! First... Oh, the earthquakes go down. I'm getting so excited at the moment. That wall breaker just got springed off. But now the second golem goes down, this time the wall breaker will work and only one wall breaker will be needed for that level 7 wall, so yes. 
and the second two pairs of golems go in, take going straight to our oh, three golems goats. This is an absolute mass of golems you don't even know. Look at them. And then of course level 34 queen like really is easily gonna destroy it. And yes it will easily destroy it here. And this is a strategy. So you can see that we're coming across a lot of single target inferno towers. I don't know why. I, I never thought they were good good to use, and of course they haven't been good to use because We've been two, two star of them every time, but now as you can see that's path straight into the town hall core, but none of the Goms have decided to use it. They want to go for a little shop around, leaving the Queen vulnerable to that Inferno Tower and the Hidden Tesla. Once they're out of range, the Tesla will focus its target on the Queen, but now no, it doesn't, does not yet. Maybe when that one Golem pops, she'll turn. Yes, she does. And that's going to force Jan to have to use his Queen's ability just so that he gets a Town Hall and he will have to use it. Now, there you go. And the last two ones come up and that was a close call because if he got that 50% any sooner, those three Teslas were coming up straight to his Queen and we might have to rely on the Golem's explosions to get the 50%, but that doesn't always work. But now, as you can see, 60%. Jan has made my channel so much on my channel, Great English. But yeah, so 60%, that's 63% here, closer to 69, but I'm not that immature. To start celebrating about 69. But anyways, yep, 68, 61, I did do that in my previous video, the war recap. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you have not done so. And just to finish this off, we're going to attack a random base. Close my eyes, click a base, attack it. And yes, we are attacking this base with... No troops! There we go, let's go for it. Bang, bang. This is absolute nonsense at the moment from me, but I have nothing better to do. The Queen is quickly using her ability. If we can 3 side of space, you know how sick that will be. So yes, as you can see, the balloons are going ham at the moment. The Queen is nicely making some use of that heal spell. Might as well put my last heal spell down so that the Queen can heal up and the King can use his rage ability here. 64% and... It is looking like a beautiful attack at the moment. Two stars in, 79%. King is about to go down. He does go down. And now, the one Archer Tower's on the Queen, one's on the Barbarians. 95%, only one structure left. This is definitely going to be a three star, and it is 100%. I'm sorry, Clan, for having to use those balloons because that was pointless. But actually, I just. Re oh, I can't check. Yeah, anyway, guys, I'm requesting. I'm not going to tell them I just did that. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I've got a runny nose now. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you've not done so yet. And that's it from me, guys, and goodbye.